There were so many good dogs and people during both Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton that we had to make a whole video about them. Before I get into individual stories, we had entire shelters cleared ahead of the storm, both by other shelters and rescues outside of the hurricane's path and by individuals choosing to foster. My timeline was full of people across Florida sharing their hurricane foster dogs, many of them pit bull mixes. This visibility will likely have positive ripple effects across the rescue dog community for months, not only for those dogs, but for anybody who was exposed to fostering through those videos. Wings of Rescue flew close to, if not over a thousand dogs from affected areas to safety, and the three North Carolina rescues that we featured raised over $400,000 in one weekend to rebuild their communities and support their existing animals. Okay, now for specific stories. Florida Highway Patrol found this dog tied to a pole off of I-75 just hours before Milton made landfall. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. He was helped into the car, given some blankets, and received a clean bill of health from the vet. He's since been named Trooper and is de-stressing with a foster while police continue to investigate his abandonment. Lulu was found as a stray by the Wake Forest Fire Department in the aftermath of Helene. No one in the community knew the dog and she did not have a collar or a microchip. She took a liking to firefighter Corey Floyd and after everyone began jokingly asking if he was going to take the dog home, his answer became yes, actually. A dog named Athena was found 20 feet up in a tree. Floodwaters swept her there and when they receded, she was stuck. The Kingsport Fire Department was able to help her down and she has since been reunited with her family. We have these incredible photos by Ray Castillo of a rescue canine named Kira ziplining across a river to assist with search and rescue in Bat Cave, North Carolina. Hillsborough County fire teams reported rescuing 104 pets so far, including this Bernese Mountain Dog who was clearly very grateful. After a mudslide in Burnsville, North Carolina, locals from the community used a canoe to rescue six dogs. The Segundo family, who evacuated to a hotel in downtown Tampa, was seen playing Catan and including their dog, Cassie. This dog was seen in Miami walking up to every car that passed, begging to be picked up. His rescuers, Saving Sage, are assuming he was dumped ahead of the storm. He was just looking for anybody to keep him company. He has been named Parker and is now with a foster as the rescue processes his many, many adoption applications. This was probably the story we were sent the most. A pig named Brennan has been helping clean up debris in the aftermath of Milton. Look at him, he's picking up a stick. Look at him. And he is putting it in this pile. Brennan, are you helping? Are you helping, buddy? Oh my goodness. Oh, what a smart boy. And we couldn't forget Donut, who thinks all the new sticks on the ground were placed there specifically for his enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tell him. The last hurricane dog I want to highlight is Tucker. He is being credited with saving the life of an 11 year old boy named Jamie after a mudslide destroyed their home during Hurricane Helene. All of a sudden I felt the house go like this and then I saw walls coming at me. I was on the couch with Gemma then the house mudslided and I face planted into a wall like full f body went flying. Jamie was trapped under a pile of mud and debris, but Tucker was above him barking nonstop. He stayed on top of the pile and was just barking away. And I just thought the dog was going crazy. I didn't realize he had located the boy. Tucker didn't move until firefighters arrived and used chainsaws to dig Jamie out. Since he has a um, really big nose and, a, and really big ears, I think he could hear me and smell me. I thought he was trying to tell them where I was. He was flown to a hospital, but medically cleared soon after arrival. Jamie and his sister used their allowance money to adopt Tucker three years ago, just days before he was set to be euthanized at a shelter. And he was the last dog there, and he, when he saw us, he just ran right up to us. Yeah. So you rescued Tucker. Yeah, he rescued me. 